GM, GM, just a quick one before we get going. So as you know, the Blockmates podcast is for informational and entertainment purposes only. Certainly shouldn't be considered as financial advice. We have absolutely no idea what we're talking about half the time. So any investment decision you do make should be based on your own research and your own understanding of the risks involved. One more thing as well, there's around 50% of people who listen regularly who aren't subscribed yet. So if you please could just do us a favor and hit the subscribe or the follow button or the like button. Helps content grow, helps us grow, helps it reach more people like yourselves um, and it means the world to us as well. So that's the last I'll uh, ask of you. So yeah, let's get to the episode. GM and welcome to the world of yield farming utilizing artificial intelligence. Now in this one, I'm taking you through Mosaic Finance, so the quick TLDR one-liner, they are yield farming across the Omnichain, utilizing AI to optimize their strategies. Super interesting stuff. We're gonna dive into the tech behind this and show you how it actually works and prove to you once and for all that AI is more superior than the DGEN when it comes to extracting the most yield. So strap in, stay tuned, drop us a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll jump on in. So let's jump straight into the DAP here. You can see we're on the vaults page. Now the AI running this is called Archimedes, but for each vault strategy, there is a separate name. One vault currently live and it is called Hercules. So you can see each of these vaults will have its own personality and a bit of lore behind it. Now this one is a stable farming pool. As you can see, current APY 5.5%, utilizing USDT, USDC die and frax and it is farming across the omnichain using stargate finance i believe across seven chains at this moment in time with more potentially to come so 5.5 percent apy let's open this bad boy up so what we get met with here on the front end is the vault name so we have hercules we know this is a stable base pool current apy in here tvl is currently around 100k in here they have just increased the cap though to 250k earlier this morning so i expect more funds will start to make their way in here on the actual interface you can see the various apy across these different time spans it has been quite volatile as you can see because of course the crypto markets are highly volatile typically as well when there's more volatility you do get better apy specifically on stable coins as people move in and out of them so it's utilizing Stargate here for single side staking pools. Of course, they are stable assets, so they're not gonna get any impermanent loss. And what you can see from here, it is currently farming. Sometimes it will go into an optimization mode. It says approximately three minutes it may last in this kind of mode whilst it reallocates itself, auto compounds, etc. That's some of the unique selling points of this. It is auto compounding and it is also on an hourly basis rebalancing as well to harvest compound and thus get you the biggest yield possible. So on here, you can see fee structure is currently free. The fees generally on here will be 15% and that will be a profit or performance-based fee. So only 15% on the actual profit made. But currently, as this is in the early innings, it is free in terms of the fee right now. On the right-hand side, it shows the vault strategy and what you're actually exposed to as discussed, those stable assets. So if you do want to deposit, you click the deposit button here. And you can deposit many assets from many different chains onto here. So let's just pull out Arbitrum, maybe some ETH as an example here, and then you would deposit it into the LP for this strategy. So this has a zap functionality. So you can actually just deposit say ETH, and then it will actually deploy it into the vault as you so wish into the Moz LP on any of the chains that you click on here. So just say for argument's sake, we want Moz LP on Arbitrum. You have two ETH to put in. It's gonna give you 3,049 of these LP tokens. This is a stable coin vault. So as you can see, the LP is made up of stable assets. Hence your two ETH is getting you the equivalent stable coin value at current market price. So to make this deployment, you would have obviously a wallet connected. Select your route as such and then approve the transaction to gain that LP. Now, if there are additional incentives, there are some on the horizon I hear from Discord, you will have to take this LP token and potentially deposit into the Camelot DEX. That would be on Arbitrum, so do make sure you check in with Discord for any available incentives. But once your deposit is made, you will see that the farming is ongoing, actively generating you some nice yields, compounding that and ensuring you're getting more and more stable coins, as much bang for your buck as possible. 5.96% APY is the current going rate. 
So that is the Hercules stable vault in action. So essentially what we're saving here is a load of time. So if we do this individually, we have to maybe bridge our funds across different networks, pay multiple different transaction fees. We'd have to spend a load of time making sure we do the auto compounding ourselves, which is gonna be labor intensive. And this has given us the ability to capture multi-chain yield without actually having to bridge anywhere ourselves. It's gonna automate all the strategies for us. So a big plus point, this is gonna be a lot more efficient than doing it solo. So we've seen the front end, what happens on the back end? Let's start here. So AI Fi, a brand new term I've seen coined here, artificial intelligence finance. This could well be a narrative unto itself. So Archimedes V1, so this is Mosaic's AI machine learning. Now, the fact that this is an AI program, it's actually continually learning, taking in more data, and in essence is a self-improving database, which is pretty damn smart. So as we saw with the user flow there, how is this actually working? Well, they're rebalancing deposits across the vault assets and then allocating those assets to the farms where the highest APY is and then it compounds each and every hour and will relocate the assets to those most efficient pools. So a load of data is coming in. It's then making decisions for you based on the best outcome possible. So as it says at the bottom, Archimedes is a profit maxi. I love that term. And this is gonna ensure you're getting the highest yield. It's taking into consideration data such as predictive APY metrics, TVL, fees, slippage, volume, time, pool reward share, just so many sources of data that it will be super hard for any individual to actually maximize their process in the same way that the AI can. So if we just check out this diagram here, you can see Archimedes. So the AI is the decision maker, but plugging into that, his right-hand man is called Conan. And what they're doing is utilizing previous data, so historic data to make future outcome predictions. This therefore allows Archimedes to make the best potential decisions as it is doing everything in a predictive manner. Then we have on the back end, Iron Hand, which is an external web server that collects data real time from on chain. So there's a lot going on there in the background to deliver to us that neat front end where we just pretty much click and deploy our funds. So let's go a little bit deeper again, because I think this is worthwhile explaining how much data this team has gone through to get the granularity required to ensure they have the best machine learning model possible. So essentially, once they started out, they wanted to get loads of granular data, but data providers out there were unable to get them what they required. This led them to actually take the painstaking steps to build their own proprietary data extraction tool. As you can see from the below down here, they take data on this basis, block by block APY data that also encapsulates other numerous metrics. And then in terms of the price feeds, they've got one minute token price data, which is key for selling native protocol tokens. Volatile markets, you wanna make predictions, is the token going up or down? And this is obviously very important for making it the most efficient yield farmer on the market. So the team is training this thing for absolute months and there's incremental learning going on as well. They're continuously improving and refining the process to make the AI model more and more efficient. And what's more, they actually partnered with Google for the Web3 partnership program and utilizing Google and their expertise, they were actually able to make a 50X improvement on the training speed for the AI Archimedes. So on screen, you can see live test results, capital base here of $10 million. So say you come and you want to farm these stable pools on Stargate Finance and you do a set and forget process, your yield would be roughly $400,000 or 4.3%. So set and forget, that is the baseline there. If you do daily rebalancing, however, you can notch that up to 567K or 5.95%, an improvement to the baseline of 40% basically. But with Archimedes, with its hourly rebalancing and compounding, more importantly, we know compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world, according to Einstein. Well, that nets you a yield of 626K, 6.62%, an improvement to baseline of 54%. So huge difference in the numbers there. So just to show you, if we go to Stargate Finance, there's a load of stable coin pools available on here. And neatly, we have 
DeFi Llama data available too. So these are Stargate pools. The approximate APY is roughly, if you choose the best one and maybe you manage yourself a bit, 4.3% is what you can get. That is what the humble DeFi DGen yield farmer can achieve for themselves. But compare that to going to Hercules here from Mosaic Finance. Hercules is going to get you roughly 5.5%, which is going to be a big difference to that bottom line. So taking this back from the top, we have Archimedes, the machine learning model, that is the AI. And then for each pool that is deployed into, we've seen Hercules, the stable pool on Stargate Finance. These pools get their own name of Greek gods, and thus they come with a bit of their own personality. Now, the second vault that will go live is that of Theseus. Now, this is a Arbitrum-based vault, as you can see denoted by the logos up here, and it will build on top of GMX, gains and gamma strategies. So we saw previously Hercules was single-sided staking, but this will have dual-sided LPs coming. So potential for impermanent loss, but also very likely it's gonna have much higher yields. Now we think about what is about to happen over on Arbitrum, the short-term incentive program. November through to January, there's gonna be a ton of ARB incentives. So we have an AI yield optimizer that's gonna be able to plug into this and hopefully hoover up a ton of those ARB incentives. So very excited to see Theseus go live hopefully soon in Q4 and take full advantage of what is happening over on Arbitrum. I'm pretty sure the guys have got this lined up and ready to go. Now a little bit on token here. So the Mosaic token ticker MOZ or MOZ, this can be staked for X MOZ at a one-to-one -one ratio. So you would come and enter the amount of MOZ you wish to stake as X MOZ and then you would have X MOZ because it is the governance token of this ecosystem. So this is gonna allow you to actually vote on proposals. If you're just holding MOZ, you can have your say on proposals in terms of you can get involved with discussions, but you can't actually vote on things to be changed. So hence you will need X MOZ. They also do use X MOZ as a rewards distribution method. So for any incentives, I believe they will be dishing them out in X MOZ. And then if you want to convert that into MOZ, if there is any mercenary capital out there that wants to farm, they do then have to actually vest the X MOZ back into Moz. And if you do that over 45 days, you get 100% ratio. So one X Moz will be converted into one Moz. However, over a 30 day vest, so if you wanna speed things up a little bit, you'll only get 75% back. And over a 15 day vest, you would just get 50% back. And a change to the tokenomics recently did occur. So there was a token tax of 2.5%, but this has been removed now as per MIP2. But what they're gonna be doing instead is using Camelot's dynamic directional fee to implement a 1.5% swap fee. And this will be used to build out more protocol owned liquidity for the Moz to ETH trading pair. This had a resounding number of four votes. So it is currently under the process of being implemented. So essentially a reduction in the token tax and redirecting it to protocol owned liquidity. Now I do wanna to finally touch on the community building that's been going on over here at Mosaic, it's pretty epic to see, to be fair, huge followings across socials and a very active Discord server. And there's kind of this mini game going on in Discord that I am participating with, and to be honest with you, a little bit addicted to, and it's called the Doikonomy. So essentially you want to become the Doiker Lord. So this allows you to level up yourself via completing these daily little tasks within Discord. You essentially put yourself to work in order to earn tokens, which are in these kind of emojis of pineapples. So I believe this will last for at least another around 10 weeks from the recording of this video. So do go and get involved. I'm sure there will be some great prizes up for grabs as well. And people who are finishing towards the top of the leaderboards have been invited to participate in the alpha of some of the product releases. So over on my Discord, you can get started very easily. And there's these various commands slash commands that you can enter, check your balance, collect your income if you have any. You can put your character to work. You can also sell yourself via the slut command and even do things like gambling. And I've played a bit of blackjack on there and doubled up my accounts. So let's jump into Discord. So if you come to the Doikonomics section down here, you can see how this will actually work. You need to earn yourself 2,500 points to really get started in here. And then you can get yourself the role of the Doika. And then from there, you want to become one of the classes. Do you want to become a Bandoik? So essentially a bit of a thief. 
Maybe you wanna become an Apprendoik or even a Smart Doik down here. Now for each of these, you're gonna be required to purchase one null shard. Again, there is a forward slash command for this to make the purchases and hold 10,000 of the tokens as well. And then you can see the various benefits of being in one of these different classes. And I expect as this law progresses, we're gonna have some class wars between the three different classes. If we just go into Doikonomy V2 down here, I'm just going to put in a slash command down here of S-L-U-T and enter. And it says, CryptoTube, you offered a 50% discount for your nudes and racked up 395 points. The slash command balance, we can see how many funds I've currently got. Roughly 3,072. So I want to get myself a roll. So I use the slash command buy and then it comes up with the options here. And I want to get my Doika roll here for 2,500. If I just tap in balance yet again, you can see I've been discounted those 2,500 tokens. I've now got my Doika roll and it says this is where your journey begins. So next up, I'm just going to continue to play along with this. Every two hours, you can put him to work or maybe do a bit of gambling, build up those points. I'm going to buy the Null Shard next and then get myself a class. So what will this eventually lead to? Well, you're going to have to play along to find out. What I do know is that this is leading towards a much better community engagement and a very positive vibe across their Discord. So I think this is great for community building. You can see the lore around the products with the different Greek gods for the various strategies. And now we've got the Doikonomy, a bit of a mini game to play along with as well to keep us all engaged. So some closing thoughts here. Mosaic is already working on the V2 version of Archimedes. They've obviously got numerous strategies lined up to be executed as time progresses. Currently, this is in the very early stages. We've just had the first cap limit raised on Hercules from 100K to 250K. So a slow, steady, methodical process is going on. Arbitrum rewards potentially going to be very bullish for this as well to really show how AI is superior to humans when doing yield optimizations. And I think this team has built out a very cool suite of products already and clearly have a long ways to go. The power of AI is just being tapped into right now. And I think this is going to be an absolute banger in the bull market. And if you think about it, once liquidity improves as well, there's going to be incentive programs on all various chains. We've seen the playbook previously. And so I think this omnichain AI approach is going to be a killer. Hope you enjoyed this one. Check out the docs down below and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.